Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and an overview of this Enermax Platimax 600 watt power supply. So let's take a closer look at the box for starters and go over some of the features of the power supply. Of course, the 600 watt power rating, 80 plus platinum certification, which is an efficiency rating uh, based on the percentage of power you're drawing from the wall socket that's actually used by the power supply. At a 20% load, this power supply needs to be at least 89% efficient. At a 50% load, it needs to be at least 92% efficient. And at a 100% load, it needs to be at least 89% efficient. And this power supply actually goes beyond those ratings, uh, which we'll cover on the back. Uh, it has a five-year warranty from Enermax, and it is ERP Lot 6 ready, which is a standard for standby power to um, ensure that you're drawing minimal power from the wall again to uh, be efficient and save power. Here's a look at the back of the box. I'm just going to go down this list of features as quickly as I can. So again, uh, 89 plus, re plus ready. This actually can hit up to 94% efficiency uh, depending on the load that you have on it, but uh, it goes beyond the 80 plus platinum uh, requirements. Uh, again, the ERP Lot 6 ready. It is world ready, so it's got a uh, automatic adjustment um, and active power factor correction, so it can switch between 100 and 240 volts alternating current uh, automatically. You don't have to hit a switch. It has been rated for use 24-7 at 50 degrees Celsius, um, which is industrial class performance, so you can use this in a very warm environment and not be worried about your power cutting out. C6 and hybrid ready, uh, which is uh, again, some standby states for efficiency. Uh, Direct X, that's DXXI, that's Direct X11 ready. So it's got your PCIe connectors for Direct X11 graphic, graphics cards. Uh, EMC ready, it's got electromagnetic filtering. Uh, it's got 12 pin modular design, so uh, upcoming 10 pin GPU and 12 pin GPU and CPU connectors. It will be ready for those. Um, you are also server ready, so SSI server boards uh, compatible with those. You get cord guard, which is a metal bracket that keeps your AC power cord plugged in and uh, keeps it from being accidentally yanked out of the socket. Uh, heat guard, which is for the uh, keep, uh, keeps the power supply fan running for 30 to 60 seconds after you shut it down to cool the components and extend their lifespan. Safeguard, which is uh, overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, uh, under voltage protection, all of those uh, acronyms right there, which uh, I remember most of them, but not all of them. So we'll move on. Uh, speed guard, which is essentially saying that your fan is going to run at an optimal speed to keep the components cool, but also to reduce noise as much as possible. It does have a twister bearing fan, 13.9 centimeters, with a 100,000 hour mean time between failure lifespan. 100%, 105 degrees Celsius rated Japanese electrolytic capacitors, and a dynamic hybrid transformer technology. That's enough for the box. Let's uh, get this out and take a look at the power supply. So we're going to go over uh, what comes in the box. You, of course, get a Platimax uh, manual and guidebook, so they take you through the uh, details of the power supply. It's also multilingual, so if English is not your first language, you should be covered. Uh, you get a heavy-duty AC power, uh, power cord right there to plug the power supply in. Uh, definitely thicker gauge than most power supply cables, but it uh, doesn't say exactly what the gauge is on there, but should be plenty for a 600 watt power supply. Uh, this is your little pouch with all of the uh, modular cables inside of it. This is a modular power supply. Uh, and then you get a couple uh, Velcro cable ties right there with Enermax logos on them. I love, I love Velcro cable ties because they're easy to undo and redo and, uh, and they're just fantastic. There's the power supply. Uh, here is some information, um, not in English, but uh, that's your warranty card essentially. Right there for your five-year warranty from Enermax. This is the cable guard that we were talking about. Just a little clip pops on the back of the power supply and you uh, loop your, your cable through that, your AC power cord through that, and that'll make sure that you can't accidentally yank it free. And then finally, uh, you get an Enermax case badge there, as well as four Phillips head screws to attach the power supply to your case. So here's a look at the modular cables that come along with this power supply. You get two PCI Express cables here. They are 50 centimeters long, and uh, each of these has two 6 plus 2 pin power connectors, so 6 or 8 pin PCI Express power plugs uh, can be compatible with that. So you get four of those total, which should be able to run, well, two cards if they, if they each have single connectors, or uh, I guess up to four cards if they're using single PCI connectors, although probably wouldn't be the most uh, best use of 
Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, here is uh, your Molex power cable. Uh, it has four Molex plugs on it, as well as a floppy plug there at the end. Uh, you get 90, 90 centimeters of cable length to the last Molex plug on all of these uh, peripheral power connectors. And uh, your floppy plug actually goes out to 105 centimeters. But uh, that one's there. You also get three more of these cables here. Uh, two of them have two Molex plugs and two serial ATA plugs, so they're in there. And then finally you have a serial ATA dedicated uh, extension cord again with four serial ATA plugs on it. So that gives you four, five, six, seven, eight serial ATA, and then two, four, five, six, seven, eight Molex along with that floppy connector. And here's a look at the power supply itself. Uh, on the top there you have your 13.5 centimeter twister bearing fan. Nice Intermax placard there right in the center. Uh, you have a Platimax uh, logo there on the side, and they have put that on either side uh, so that whichever way you have this power supply oriented in your case, you will have your nice Platimax logo there. Here at the back, we can see our ventilation areas. Uh, there's your AC power plug. Up above it are the two prongs where you would insert your cable guard. And then right next to that is your on-off power switch. Let's take a look at the... Uh, at the power cable here on the power supply. Um, we, this is actually a three rail design here. For, so, so for your main 12 volt rails, you have three 12 volt rails, 25 amps on each rail for 600 watts total. And uh, you'll notice here that uh, you get 600 plus the 100 uh, on your 3.3 and 5 volt rails. So they are uh, at 600 watts total rating. And they're actually, again, undercutting this just a little bit, but that helps um, with the platinum rating and, and whatnot. Uh, here we go at the back for your modular connectors, and uh, they've actually listed out a diagram here, not just of where your uh, hard drive or optical drive peripherals and your GPU peripherals plug in, but they've also uh, put a chart with the, all the pinouts there right on the power supply itself, so that's handy to have. Uh, again, red ones here for your GPU uh, or CPU connectors, um, and then all of your hard drive and optical drive peripheral connectors for serial ATA and Molex. This is a partially modular power supply, but um, the only parts that are non-modular, well, I don't know any modern system that would not need these, so um, there you have it. You get your 24-pin primary motherboard power connector, and then you get your supplemental CPU connector there, and it's split, so you can use it for a simple 4-pin one, or you can uh, stick them together, and that makes a 8-pin EPS 12-volt power connector. And uh, I guess one last thing to mention, that uh, you'll notice all of these cables are nicely sleeved, and uh, they have a yellow and red uh, stripe design going across all of them. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Enermax Platimax 600 watt power supply. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel where you'll find more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.